In this video, I would like to try to take some of the mystery and perhaps fear out of using a twin needle. They are not just for hemming your t-shirts. They are way more interesting than that and you can do a lot of really fun things with them. With them. And you know, let's face it, sometimes we just want to have fun when we're sewing. Kelly Richardson here. Today I'm at ABQ Sewing Studios in Strathroy and I want to talk about twin needles. We're going to go through, first of all, what a twin needle is and the different twin needles that are available. We are then, I'm going to then show you how to thread your machine with some tips and tricks to make it a whole lot easier and a lot more successful. And we're going to talk about some of the really cool things that these needles can do. So let's get to it. Okay, let's get some of the technical stuff out of the way. First of all, just what is a twin needle? A twin needle is a needle with one shaft which is the same as every sewing machine needle that we use on our sewing machine. It has two blades and two eye holes for thread. So you would use two separate threads when you are using a twin needle. Now there's a lot of information on the package for a twin needle. So let's, let's demystify that just a little bit. Across the bottom here you'll see on this particular one is a 2.5 slash 80. What that means is that it is 2.5 millimeters between the two blades and it is a size 80 needle. So this would be a needle suitable for um, quilting cottons that weight of a cotton. This one beside it here, this is a 2 millimeter. So you see the blades are just a little bit closer together. That is um, the sizing across the bottom. Now with Schmates, they also come in um, universal they come from 1.6 millimeters all the way up to an 8 millimeter space between the blades. They also come, now that's in the universals, they also come in embroidery and yes you can use um, twin needles on your embroidery machine, that's just a whole lot of fun. There is a jeans twin which is of course a bigger needle, uh, it's a 4 millimeter space. There's metallic which you would use with metallic threads and there is a twin stretches that you would use with stretch fabrics. Now chances are pretty good that if you are wearing a t-shirt right now, if you look at the hem of that, if it's a ready-made gar ready garment, it will have twin stitching across the bottom. Now most likely, if it's a ready-made garment, a cover stitch machine did that stitching. Well, the twin needle will mimic the look of a cover stitch machine and give you that same professional finish without having to go out and buy a cover stitch machine. But not only are they awesome for um, garments, they are a whole lot of fun for some of the decorative things that we like to do. Now so here is a sample of just something that you can do with a twin needle other than hemming your t-shirt. Here it's just a plain piece of fabric with some random stitching down it using a twin needle. And wouldn't this be really fun either as a background for an applique block or throw this, this whole just a piece of fabric and there you got yourself a table runner in no time at all. That would be really cool. And here's another little sample where we used a twin needle as the actual design itself. So the stem and the leaves are outlined with a twin needle, just some ruching in there. So you can see in here the actual picture itself is made by using the twin needle. And here's another one of my absolute favorite ones. This is where I take a plain piece of fabric and I will just randomly use a twin needle with some of the beautiful decorative threads that are out there and I'll make a whole brand new piece of fabric and then use this in a bag. So that's some of the, the fun things that we can do with the twin needle. You will also have seen twin needles if you've ever seen any pin tucking. Pin tucking is made using a twin needle with a pin tucking foot. So that'll be something that we'll explore in a later video when I talk about the pin tucking foot. But for now, let's go to the sewing machine and I will show you how to set up your sewing machine to start taking advantage of some of these super fun things you can do. So here we are at the sewing machine. Now let me show you how to attach a twin needle. Okay, first thing we need to do to set up for a twin needle, of course, is to take out your existing single needle and we'll put the twin in. Now the twin needle uh, fits the same as your standard needle. They do have a flat bit on the back, same as your regular needle, so that flat goes towards the back and we'll just make sure that's up all the way and snug that in. There, that's all there is to that. Now depending on what machine you're working on, you may have to go in and tell your machine that you're doing twin needle work. Most of the time, um, especially on computerized machines, there's a setting on there that will um, 
set up for twin needle and what that does is it will limit how much you can zigzag if you can zigzag at all. Some machines, as soon as you put twin needle on, that's it, no zigzag. Other machines, depending on the size of the twin needle you put in, will let you do some zigzag. Um, what you don't want to do is go ahead and zigzag because then you're just going to sew into your foot and break both, both blades of the needle and that's not what you want to do. You will also have an auxiliary spool, spool pin. Um, some machines come with that already attached, some of it's an auxiliary, and you will need to have both those spool pins put in. Okay, this particular machine that I'm working on today is the Baby Lock Lyric. And this is the auxiliary spool pin that comes with it, and it just snaps down over top of the bobbin winder. So you'll see now I have two, a space for two spools of thread. Now, if you don't happen to have two spools of the same color of thread and you want to use the same color thread, you can always wind a bobbin with this color and have it a bobbin from here and your spool here. Um, or it's just a whole lot of fun sometimes just to use two different colors of thread. So when you are threading a machine for twin needle, uh, the most important thing is to make sure that you don't get the threads twisted. So you're gonna thread the machine exactly the same way. I'm gonna take one of the threads and I'm gonna thread it through exactly the same way I normally do. And then I'm just gonna lay that one off to the side. Then I will take my second thread and thread it through as well. Just making sure that I don't get them tangled. So doing them separately um, helps to, me to keep them not tangled. And then I, you'll see I have two threads here, one for the left needle, one for the right needle. Okay, so here I have my two threads. Now I want to make sure that they go around the guide at the top of the needle, still keeping them as separate as I can. And I'm just gonna put the foot down so you can see what I'm doing. Now, the, the saddest thing about using a twin needle is that if you have an automatic threader on your sewing machine, it is no longer going to work when you're using a twin needle and don't even try because it's not good for your, for your um, threader. So now, whenever I can't use my needle threader, I, I get kind of pouty because the older I get, the more um, I love my needle threader and the more I have come to depend on my needle threader. So if I have to, I will bring out this. Now this is usually something you see with a serger. They generally come with them, but there's no reason you can't use that on a sewing machine. And it just makes it a whole lot easier for me to thread my right. needle. Let's do the right needle now. Now I've got it around the guide. And, oops. There we go. Thread it. So these little tools are pretty much invaluable when you start to rely too much on your needle threader. So I have my two threads. I've made sure I haven't twisted them and I'm just gonna stick them down underneath my presser foot. And we're ready to get going. All right, I'll just grab this little piece of fabric here. There we go. And off we go. Okay, see that? See how pretty that is? Stitching. Now on the back, this is what you should be seeing on the back because you've still just got one bobbin thread. So that bobbin thread is going back and forth between your two needles, catching your thread underneath. Now, how pretty is that? Okay, so getting back to what I said about um, zigzagging with a twin needle. Now, this particular machine, I have gone in and told it that I'm doing a twin needle. So what it will do is it will actually... Um, to a certain degree limit how wide I can make my zigzag. So let me just show you one of the, the things this machine here will do. And then I'll explain it. What you wanna be careful of when you're zigzagging. Actually zigzagging with a twin needle is pretty fun. Now, this is the look that you get if you zigzag with a twin needle. Isn't that fun? Now, if I try to get this machine to go to its normal um, seven millimeter width. Let me show you what it does to the, to the zigzag. Mm. 
see how instead of leaving a space in between the two zigzags, it starts to um, overlap a little bit, which is a really neat look. So that's fun to play with. Now, the reason that it does this is because I told it that I am doing twin needle, which you need to be super careful of. And I'm just gonna go in here and take this machine out of twin needle. So it thinks that I am just using a regular needle. Okay, so I've turned my twin needle function off. So now see what happens if I try to do a seven millimeter zigzag. I am gonna jump right into the foot there and I'm going to bang up against the foot, which would could result in damage to my machine, but it's for sure gonna kill my needle. So you really, really wanna make sure if you don't have a limiting function on your sewing machine, here's what you need to do is set a zigzag, then hand walk. So remember right now I am out of zigzag mode. So the machine has no idea that I have a twin needle in there. So I will hand walk to make sure that I'm okay for that width. So that's something that you wanna make super care of when you're when you are working with the twin needle is hand walk to make sure that your um, foot can take the width of the zigzag because zigzagging with a twin needle is a whole lot of fun. Now don't think that you can just zigzag with a twin needle. You can also use some of your very beautiful decorative stitches. Here is just a small sample of some of the stitches on this machine that um, you can use with the twin needle. Now generally a computerized machine if you have it in zigzag or have it in, sorry, twin needle mode, it will tell you if it can or cannot do those stitches in twin needle. Uh, this particular machine just says, no, I can't do that. And you will um, just choose a different stitch. But there is a ton of stitches that you can use with your tin twin needle. And that just makes it even more fun. So go ahead and experiment with um, the stitches on your machine and see what really neat things you can come up with. So there you have it. Grab yourself some twin needles and just start playing. There's some beautiful decorative threads out there that can just add that extra little sparkle to the project that you're working on. Just make sure if you're doing stretchy things like your t-shirt that you have a stretch needle, stretch twin needle. If you're doing cottons, you want a universal and the heavier your fabric, the heavier the needle should be. So enjoy yourself, have some fun and happy sewing until next time.